and we are live. <coughs> Just got done with my lunch. Put up the game. <clears throat> Let me swap this. Sup? <clears throat> Are we just gonna do some dailies on uh, GCG and also Final Gear? Other than that, I have no plans. Maybe we can continue the uh, Chrono Cross a little bit more. I don't know why like display captures monitor is always reset <clears throat> for some reason but yeah we are here back in GCG we don't really have a lot of things to do to be honest uh, since I've done most of the things <clears throat> I just need to do this which I'm gonna it is kind of my fault like not doing the data drill even though I already finished it I can just spam it so the way to do this is like, go to the easiest stage that you can do, just do it 9 times, and don't record any of the score if you got if you got it. Because <clears throat> the way the data drill entry goes is, uh, your entry per day is limited to 5, but you can do it more like unlimited time, as long as you don't record your uh, score, because if you record your score, it counts as one entry. So. Just go with the easiest stage, do it nine times, don't record anything, and you should be fine. And you can do like the higher stage if you wanna push for more score. But it is kind of my fault. I didn't do it like nine times right away. <clears throat> but oh well, I'm just gonna wait for the uh, reset anyway, and definitely gonna get it today. It's only this left. Everything else I got it done, so... <clears throat> And uh, I did, I don't know, I did 10 more summons on the character. I should have just wait, but I don't know, my, my brain is always like, gotta do it for the uh, clan's quest, you know what I mean? So I I think those are the two regrets that I have done. <laughs> Summoning 50 in the first 
it's first day should have just wait for the next week for the uh, clan quest and also this today i or yesterday doing another 10 for the clan quest <clears throat> You see, I didn't get anything to be honest. Nothing really good. I guess, I mean, I get this uh, mate access here. That's new, and the rest are just dupes. Got four star, yes, uh, when I do the 50. <coughs> And I did 10 summon on the weapon too, but I didn't get anything. Uh, mostly just singles, to be honest. The single singles with it. Nah. Didn't land on this jackpot right here. But maybe next week. <clears throat> if we have still if we still have any times. But yeah, for for the most part, like we're just probably gonna do some event. <laughs> I've done all the uh daily bounty hunt and also coordinated attack thingy yesterday just waiting for reset in about like three hour ish <laughs> so before it before uh, it reset completely you know what i mean <laughs> gotta spend this juicy rewards <laughs> not rewards stamina energy I'm checking to see like the the lowest because <clears throat> I need to push this to 30 at least all of the girls <laughs> so yeah hundred 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 <clears throat> zero 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 hundred everything hundred yep I wish there is a better way to do this instead of just clicking this one by one. Ten K, twelve K, three hundred more. Hey yo, <clears throat> almost he almost got it. Uh, which one is the closest one then? This one is fifty three, so that's gonna take a while. 60, 34, 38, so summer, summer main bedroom, that's a 34, that's the closest one that we can bought everything in one go, <coughs> and then we got a lot of boosts like 200, 200, 300, 300, yep, it's a good chunk, 900, Oh, a thousand, two hundred, and four hundred, so sixteen hundred ish. Could be seven hundred, seventeen hundred, but yeah, definitely gonna pass this easily. Then I got more crystal bonus and this, so like, uh, it's a lot easier. Like legit now, managing the cafe, managing the stamina of the girls is just so much easier now. Especially with like upgrading that to the next step. Our next uh, checkpoint is like gonna make it a lot more easier. Okay, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> let me just double check. I mean, I, I, I mean, I already did it, but just to be on the safe side, you know. Did it. Okay, so now we can just spam 
all our stamina on this one. Oh yeah, no, I kind of tried uh, making like a what do you call it? A uh, mono team. I mean, it's not really perfect. I just like make the layout so this is red, this is biology. That's the thing about this game, man. They the the sensors the censoring system on the writing is kind of weird. Like I've typed biological, like it it contains some like weird character it said that I cannot really type it as a biological which is weird and then I tried bio and the limit is like four the, the minimum requirement for it is four it's like what <laughs> so that's why I read with double D's because hey just saying <laughs> and then green and then blue yellow purple I just like recommend with this with the with the with the set element and that's it i haven't really done intense setup to be honest but i'm just like yeah might as well start slowly building in the mono team like this you know what i mean and then like this one is the main is like basically recommend strongest all that's it and then maybe just tweak around a little bit like this one i put like a casual grainy just because of the event earning thingy <coughs> I still don't have made Su Xiao Su 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 Xiao Zen? Yeah. I have the casual one. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh well. <clears throat> don't really care about this one to be honest. You just auto and you just, basically you auto win no matter what. The event itself is pretty easy, but sweeping the entire um, storage is gonna be a, a challenge, not gonna lie. I don't really need to do anything, just let it be, you know what I Still kind of sleepy, not gonna lie. I already woke up like uh, an hour ago. An hour or two, actually. An hour or two hours ago. One fifty, so divided by twenty. How many is that? Seven. So seven times. I think with all this stamina mean, that I'm using right now, I can get the another uh, thousand one, which is the gun material, the gold one. <coughs> Maybe if I'm filling it after we play Final Gear, we we can jump to Chrono Cross a little bit. You know, just finishing the uh, Hydro Marshes quest, and then we'll maybe continue it again in the evening. But we'll see because Final Gear might is gonna take a while to finish, to be honest. Guys, please, <laughs> can you not stand in there? I 
I really need to do the uh, story event one of these days. Like, I mean, I've been saying this over and over, but like, <laughs> ah, man, I, I, my priority ha is always like this. You know what I mean? Every single, any gacha games out there that I played that has this kind of event. I always, this is how I usually play it, like, focus on the event, swipe out every single thing, get all the rewards, then, if you still have time, you can progress a little bit more on the, uh, story. Which I really should do, I should focus more than the event, to be honest, especially with the coffee that I unlock on the hard difficulty. The three-star coffee. That was, bruh, my cafe is gonna be like, way better looking than right now <laughs> when progress wise it's gonna be far beyond what i have right now because man those three stars man those three stars coffee man that's the only thing that i that kind of makes me want to do the story to be honest more than anything <laughs> just get the coffee the three star coffee with the three star customer too <laughs> that's my priority more than the finishing the story content itself to be honest. <laughs> I just want that. Just wanna get the coffee and that's it. And the reason why I don't maxed out my uh, TE leader is because I know I will switch her out. Like compared it to, I mean obviously, uh, casual moon and mate moon, like, Lita is like not as strong as them. But, you know, for clearing content and like for free character, she is pretty good. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the reason why I don't really put any resources onto her except for like limit breaking her is that I know that I'm gonna switch her in the uh, soon at least. Like back then when I got her, I was like, well, I'm gonna switch her uh, eventually. But now I feel like since I already got, you know, I done a good amount of pulls now and I got like, a good amount of character that's really good. Uh. I just need more time to like build up their uh, res uh, their character or like build up the resources to build them and then after that I finish with it I just like you know go pick the strongest one and like benching leader or like making her into a support also is pretty good since uh, she already maxed out on the limit break and also skill level doesn't really affect your battle rating or battle power anyway, so... Yeah. Like, if I max her out, max her skill out right now, then, uh, yeah, probably I might, you know, uh... Get a... Better damage out of her. Because as of right now, she doesn't punch as hard as I want it to be. I mean, she still do damage, especially with the shotgun, like, burn for days. And this, uh, new thing, uh, skill, her active skill also is pretty nice to, like, nuke down when the boss is on break state. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
two more. Got 66 per run, 66 times 7. Uh, I can't be bothered to do math. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 462. Definitely get the, uh, the uh, 1001. The gold gun. Because last time I think I have like a thousand or something, so at least I gotta get that down. And then uh, next, my objective is getting the 750. The uh, what do you call it? Uh, module, the gold module. It's always nice to have those around. You know what I mean? Big boost on the stats. And then after that, probably gonna focus on the oath item. I still need like two or one, I'm not really quite sure. Either two or one for the Cornelia one. <laughs> and then after that, just stacking some more, uh, what do you call it? EXP, because I already unlocked two of the other Cornelia's uh, dress to 60, but I still need the EXP to get them to 60. So after that done, I'm good with it, and then my... Uh, Affection with her also is like 59 now, so Soon we're gonna get to 60 and then we unlock the Plus 3 which is 70 level her level 70 and then after that is the SSR. Oh boy There's still a long ways to go But yeah, we're getting close to finishing this uh, Oath on her this stage and then after the finish with Cornelia Definitely gonna jump straight to Grainy, 100%. Might as well take those down before something else get uh, released, you know what I mean? And also, like, uh, Party Dress Grainy is also pretty good too, so... For Data Drill, at least. For main content-wise, or like, grinding-wise, not that good, because it reduces your attack to oblivion. <laughs> That's the thing. But the damage reduction is pretty huge, and also she heals at the same time. So, you know. Pretty good for data drill, for the defensive at least. Defensive data drill is gonna be really good. Or some other events that needs heal, like right now the event is... Uh, it's not... I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's just... You, you need some specific thing to have. Specific units in order to like make it work. Especially the uh, the defense one, I think. defense or the survival. I don't quite remember, but basically the the last stage on the the days that's open. That thing is rough, man. I still haven't finished the uh, the la the last one. I got everything done except the survive six student, and also use all us. Assault Auto Rival or Assault Rival only. Those are just like, ugh. Those two is like the hardest one to get. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Okay, 1 4, which is perfect. Give it to me. So, 750. I could just bought this one, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. So that way, uh, my uh, Cornelia oath is uh, it's pretty much done. The nomads, this the the this one, the protect one. This one is rough. Like I got everything down. Like the maximum point you get every difficulty is eighty, and every stage is also the same. Every mission is like eighty max. But dude, this and uh, this is rough for me at least. Other people might not be because I don't really build any a lot of like auto rifle weapon character even if i do they just still kind of meh you know what i mean so this one is rough like really really rough <laughs> like maybe if you have like a tactical equipment character like irene or something irene is a yellow one right it's immune i think then this is gonna be easy because the AOE is pretty nuts and damage is pretty big too. Uh, I but mine is kind of shy, you know what I mean? Let's check it out. 
this is my immune character. <laughs> it's... I mean, I have this too. I could just like level them up, like build them up a little bit more so that I can get more damage out of her. Both of them. And surprisingly, uh, Swimsuit Su Xiaozen is pretty good. Like this thing, I mean, it's kind of hard to kind of target, but if you can angle it properly, like this bursts insanely well with this enemy. Especially if you have uh, made Yuki to group them up, to group them up together, and then like you just step, take a one or two step back, and then just like use uh, her active skill, like bruh, they gone, big damage, really nice. But yeah, this is my uh, <laughs> immune units, which is kind of sucks to be honest. Uh, for auto rifle wise, I have plenty. Uh, I could use her to be honest. I could use her. I could uh, build her up and do the become the main the main DPS, which you know definitely doable. And she deals a pretty good amount of damage too if you like max her out. But I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I'm. I, I can try to get the uh, the uh, this one, but for this one, I'm not sure because, like I said, it's not really the, my auto raffle units is not that strong just yet, and also the fact that enemy HP like plus plus fifty percent is like makes them super tanky, like oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, I think I could try to get this. I almost got this one on like when I tried it by myself before. Almost got this one, but the uh, one of the uh, NPCs got got stray bullet. I forgot to stand in front of it to like block it, and then like it's gone. So like five out of six, and then the enemy is dead, and the mission is over. It was like, oh come on, man, really? I just forgot to move in front of the NPC. That's it, man. It sucks, dude. Like, legit, if I got this down, I'm probably just gonna ignore this completely, just because we got 5 Earth Coins, when this one, 2,000 Crystalla, who cares? You know what I mean, who cares? But well, for the points, for the, for the, uh, for this, to be honest, like, I don't know if, uh, if you have to, like, do everything, get all the mission to get to 2,400 or not, but, well, we still have, like, a lot. We still have combat, defense too, 2, 2, 2, so... Yeah, we'll see what happened. We'll see what happened. But I'll probably just ignore this for now, while I'm you know building my character roster, leveling them up and stuff. Nice. Just this one is, uh, it might take a while. Uh, I already unlock it, so you. But I don't have the. Yeah, see, it's uh, still two more level. Why is it so laggy? I could just use uh, all the things, all other characters too, if I want to, or uh, the uh, experience stuff. But I feel like kind of wasted, you know what I mean? Or not. <laughs> Let me get that. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's get this over. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do that now, to be honest. <laughs> if I can. Uh, where's the other one? Maybe somebody up down here. Uh... That's done, and then last one is the gift, the affection to sixty. Yeah, I think after this, I'm gonna try to restart my blue stack. It's so it's so laggy.
Not enough, huh? This one is for... Uh... Moon. Not even close. Well, I could do this. There you go. Got it. We unlock the next fantasy oath. Okay, at least we got we got her to the max on SR at least, or maybe it's already SSR. I don't know. But let's just see what happened. Bam! Oh my god, so laggy. <laughs> it's so laggy. Ultra rare. Oh wait, what? We are... Whoa, what? Wait... What? So... We already, so she, oh, what, wait, <laughs> hold on, she already become ultra rare now then, huh? <laughs> Set Cornelia party dresses main and clear fantasy oath require 18,000, ooh. Send five ultra rare yellow border gifts to Cornelia. Dang. Co-op battle 30 times. This is um What do you call it again? The coordinated attack, isn't it? Four hour training 50 times. Why four hour? <laughs> Why four hour? Oh boy, this is just what the Okay, it's fine. It's not like we have to do everything in one go anyway, you know, take it slow. And steady but at least we got what we want we got her to ultra rare now which is surprising i thought it's gonna be this one is gonna be like 70 and then the next one is gonna be the when we got her to ultra rare but apparently not huh look get that also finally my skill increased to level two which is nice and then after this is probably three right with level 70 max, maybe? Oh, we get- oh, 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 oh. Okay, we can sweep. We can switch. Now this is good, finally. <laughs> Grants invincible to yourself, finally. The, the reason- the, the problem with the previous version of her is that, uh... When she locked in place doing this animation, she still can get hit by a lot of things. <laughs> by everything, to be honest, not a lot of things, everything. But now it's like grand invincible to yourself and creates cold area around you that lasts this, every this, three ice cold will attack that. And, uh, damage and also costs. Uh... Yeah, that's good. And then the fact that it's level 2, big damage, heck yeah. With crit rate, whenever a team member causes freeze. Whenever a team member, huh, okay. What this do? 
Whenever you cause freeze. Oh. Well, that's... Hmm. That's... Hmm. So no wonder some people talking about, like, Cornelia, freeze team. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But at least I still got this done. I got... I still got this damage. Bonus. But this, though. Wow, that's... Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, you don't really have to. She is just... She gonna scratch everything anyway. With this, just this is like... Big damage. Big damage. Last 1.8. Every 0.3, three ice cones will attack, and the enemy can stay in the zone for 1.4 seconds, which... Big damage, basically. 0.3 times 3, and then this amount of damage for 1.4 seconds. You, you don't have to... Uh, understand math to understand that this is big damage <laughs> that's basically it big damage like this one no interesting because i thought it's gonna be the same but they literally changes it like this one they grants invisibility invincibility which is great but this one though on the other hand interesting dude interesting So that said, I need... Well, if... I mean, if I want to... If I want to make her into, like, the main, just solo main DPS, then I need to bring a character that's able to freeze and equip them with the pistols or... Pistol or assault rifle? Pistol, I think. That can freeze us also. There's a chance to freeze. Uh, I think it's pistol. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Rarity, pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. And use this gun for them to help the freeze chance. So my Nelly will definitely get the grid buff, grid rate buff, like all the time. I don't know if there's a unit that can freeze. Maybe there is, but I don't. I'm I'm kind of too lazy to check one by one like this. <laughs> what they have, what the what the skill they have. But so far, as far as I know, I haven't really checked every, like, the, this, cat, this side, like, rare and normal, or uh, normal and rare cards, skills. <laughs> haven't really checked them just yet. But, yeah. Nice, good, good amount of, uh, increase in the team proficiency. Big damage. Oh, wait, 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 I just bought that thing, so we can upgrade the shotgun then. Where, where my shotgun at? <laughs> Meet the demo. Since I'm, I'm, I'm planning to like make a party dress Nelly my main DPS right now for the unseeable future, <laughs> to be honest. Get him. Perfect. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Dang, she she thick though. Look at this shield plus. What the what the, what? <laughs> That's some thick shield. That's some thick boy. Uh, this one is HP. Oh man. Oh man. 
Okay, we did it. <sighs> but I think I'm gonna... <sighs> Save up all my uh, gift for the next this, next week. 20 gifts. I mean, obviously, I got it. I got it too. And today, definitely gonna get her. Absolutely gonna get her. Can't wait to build her. <laughs> this is crazy though. If you can stack it to 10 times with level 4, you got 150%. <laughs> Increase HP recovery, you will not die. Not yet, amigo. <laughs> and then if you you can just spam this just to restore some shield also on top. Ah <sighs> man. And also she uses a cannon or grenade launcher. Big bippy. Big damage. Happy birthday, birthday Yuki. Shouldn't it to be moon? Isn't isn't it should be moon? I don't know. Well, at least I'm gonna get this one and then this one. Some extra rewards, you know what I mean? And then the the jackpot is this, obviously. I did ten, got this one. I don't know if I'm gonna do hundreds to be honest. I'm tempted to, but. I know. Still gonna do all of these. To get more earth coins and some oath items to help me <laughs> progress a little bit more. And then I got this though. I'm gonna save it up. And then also I get this too. So I guess this will be my uh, makeup. Since I spend an extra 10 for this uh, banner because of the clan quest. <laughs> so, yeah. Kinda sucks because if not, I have like 4,600. And on top of it, I have this ticket. Which, I mean, whatever, you know? At the end of the day, it's whatever. I got like a decent character out of it. Like, you know, I pull some good character, some, some good units out of it. So. It's a win. And I think that's it. I think that's about it. So let's uh let's swap. Let me just restart blue stack real quick. But yeah, that's about it for GCG. But now, this one is going to be a long one. Because it's reset and I have all the resources <laughs> also. <sighs> All the entries has been reset. <laughs> but yeah, we we chillin', we chillin'. Flashwing. <laughs> the heck is that sound? <laughs> Let me change the game title. Okay. Emotion. 
Fusion Physique Text. Okay, go back to the first one then. Alright, let's do some quiz. Uh, Evelyn is... AI. The heck is this? Glitch. Yeah, th this thing is glitch, isn't it? What is not included in Aita, Aita's hobbies? Uh, I think B. What training did Nizzy do to become a flawless combatant? Uh, combat machine. When did Margaret become the personal guard of the princess? At 19 maybe? 20, okay. What does Murasaki dislike? Uh, mice maybe? Cockroaches, okay. Well, good guess, good guess. Good try. I never check on the answer on Google's and whatnot. <laughs> I basically guess the, my, my way up here. And, you know, I mean, it kind of works. Let's get the cheap one. one hour. My water is, uh, in a pretty dire situation right now. Slowly build them, building the Felix rooms and stuff. And I think most of the rooms that I have now is level 3, which is good. enough water for it. Dang.
this one. Yeah, this one is maxed out too. So everything is maxed out already. So now if I want to, I could move forward to level 4, <laughs> but not yet, since uh got to do all of this, do all of this thing first, you know what I mean? Get everything to at least level 3, or somewhat, somewhere that it said require level 4, like this, <laughs> you know what I mean? these are level four so let's get let's get what we can right now or do I have some battle prep maybe well I can if I want to but yeah maybe later Let's focus on the v Felix first. Do, 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 do. Food, and then last one is the power one. Okay. Also, I got the uh, Taisha's uh, cockpit already. Max it out immediately. And then just need to work on this too. Which I don't know when I might get it. Because it seems like just by pulling her nine times, it's not going to be enough. That's my guess, because I need to do some, I still need to do some extra summoning. See, if I get the last one, it's like 30, right? That makes it 40, I still can't buy it. Which is kinda sucks, unless every 10 pull I got like 15 or maybe 10 Aramis. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> because right now I'm out of crystal, can't really do any summon yet <laughs> how long this will last until 20 so seven days <laughs> seven days I need 4,000 crystal huh. <laughs> uh. like the problem with this game is that you need the Mac <laughs> otherwise the, the, the unit itself won't do as good, you know, won't perform as good. Hey. Oh well. Let's just do the daily. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be enough. 
to cover both. We just melt everything with this unit, man. I love it. We got so many damage. Except Ill Heath. Haven't really maxed her out yet. And also I need to start working on Fire Red. Well, I need to work on Fire Red and uh, Aya too, but I kind of don't have the gold right now. But with this, even with this team, like I can still do a lot of damage in a normal boss drill thingy. Like I, I reached twenty percent at least. <laughs> That's an improvement. Previously, like not even close to ten. Now it's like I'm able to get twenty, but I have to manual Snowy, 
And uh, my team need to be get a little bit lucky, I must say. Still kind of sleepy, but I sleep really well to last night. Like after finishing the stream last night, I was like chilling a little bit to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and then I just went to bed. And then I woke up at 11 today. But I'm still kind of sleepy still. <laughs> uh, I think you have to go here and you have to stay at least in the middle here because there's gonna be some enemy that's gonna go here. Uh huh, so they're always gonna go here. Maybe after this I'm gonna try to go to sleep again. If I'm feeling like it, because that's weird thing about me. <laughs> Sleepy and tired, but my brain and my body is like, nope, I ain't sleeping. <laughs> I ain't sleeping. Even though half of me is like, come on, just l l let me sleep again. <laughs> but half of me is like, nope, uh-uh. Go wake up, do something. To be honest, with this team, I mean, as of right now, that is, that's uh, probably a harder content in the future. But with this team right now, I feel like I'm better off not using Solfei, the tank, and just add more damage <laughs> to make things a lot faster, to kill things faster. Like maybe adding Taisha or maybe adding fire it also over there might be a really good idea since I can just melt everything super fast absorb absorb <laughs> that's rough <laughs> So having units, bringing units that have their special mech on is actually more, much more worth it than not like bringing like a unit that is good but they don't have the mech. Unless they are units that are really good that they don't have the mech. 
like uh, Solfane and also Brittany over there. That's a, that's a whole different conversation. But for the most part, for like DPS and whatnot, uh, support, if they have their own special mag, it's much more worth it bringing them. <clears throat> and also, pilot levels feel like it's. Uh, even if you don't level them up, you should you sh you still be fine. As long as you uh, upgrade the mech, because I feel I feel like this game is like mech is everything. <laughs> Like legit, the jumping on the power level that you got from upgrading mech and upgrading pilot is way different. It's like insanely huge difference. It's almost crazy to uh, see how it's different. How big of a difference. So I guess the focus on this game is like just push your mech to the limit as far as as far as you can, then working towards the uh, scale of the pilot first, then the level. Because skill does make a big difference too. Level not so much, because pilot level is like only gives you so much stats. That's uh, kind of eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so daily and urgent. Well, urgent is done at least. I need to do two more dailies. Hmm. I'll just go here. And you try go here and then go here and see what happens. Was up absolutely they gonna move. Look at this gain of the uh, <laughs> uh skill energy. I feel like everyone like hitting all the enemy and meanwhile Solvay here just pew pew with the shotgun almost full. <laughs> like, what the heck? Uh, how does that work? Maybe I should switch every mech with this gun instead. Well that's not gonna work because uh, the uh, the mech set thingy. But for those of them who don't have it, just using that shotgun might be a lot better. Because they can spam their ultimate early uh, active skill a lot faster. Look, she already used it. Like, see how fast we, she can stack up again. Almost. Almost half. Already. Almost catching up to uh, Rin. This is insane. <laughs> shot that shotgun is crazy nuts, dude. What the heck? I think because it's how fast it is. Like it shots 0 0.5 per second. So like twice per second basically. And look at that chunk. See? Already catch up. <laughs> Already catching up with the rest.
Man, there's plenty of games that kind of comes out too in the future. There's a lot of games that I really intrigued to try. Obviously, the recent one, Honkai Star Rail, is a mix of Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact. But I don't know why they decided to go with the turn base. Because, well, Honkai Combat is already like up in there, right? And also now we have Genshin, which kind of elevates it in terms of uh, fluidity and like switching character in and out. And then they kind of going back to the root, I guess, <laughs> with the uh, turn based. But dude, still though, golly. Character looking fresh. But I can't really say much for the environment and like the... Uh, the buildings and those kind of things because it's like it, it kind of feels kind of bland to be honest maybe because you know i play a lot of genshin and we kind of used to vibrant colors in genshin hence why looking at this uh, trailer on the honkai star rail is it feels kind of mute i guess the proper word for it it's not as vibrant or i don't know it feels I, I, from the um the trailer, there's a kind of like a Mondstadt feel to it, which, again, feels kind of mute, not as vibrant and bright as uh, Mondstadt itself, but who knows, it might be just, you know, from just the trailer, maybe it's not really finished yet, maybe haven't finished, and we haven't done with the texturing and those kind of things, maybe, who knows, but we'll just keep an eye out for that. And also Tales of Luminaria. And uh, there's another game from this publisher or developer, Conway Games. I don't remember, but it's, a, it's in a pre-register, so that's one. And then also like there's uh, another turn base. Uh, but the creator is from the same creator, the same dev developer from Ark Knights. I forgot the title too. I kind of looking forward to try that out too. There's a lot of games, bro. A lot of games. A lot, a lot of games. Okay, where is your destination? You go there. So it's definitely going to all the way here, right? That's like the the biggest brain. So I'm just going to go here and go here. Well, you go all the way there and then go there and see what happens. Because I know some of these enemies is definitely going to be moving. And then what else? Let me check on my phone real quick. Because I pre-registered uh, some already. Tales of Luminaria already already registered, you know what I mean? And there's the Seven Knights too, also. Not sure. I mean, from the screenshot, it's kind of just showcasing graphics more than anything. Oh yeah, there it is. Soul Land, a fan of the gods. This is from the same developer of this game, the final gear, Komoe. Uh, again, can't really say much, but it's like, I think it's turn base 3 party, turn base. Because only 3 on the screenshot. But uh, we'll see how it goes.
完了。And I think that's it. Oh yeah, and also and innocence, and innocence. The developer or the publisher is also Bimo. Hmm, interesting. They make a lot of like MMOs, like Afabel, Toram Online. Interesting. Because it looks cool. Like another three character turn base, I guess. Based on the uh, screenshot here. Uh, definitely gonna check it out. And that's it. And then Honkai Star Rail, obviously. So yeah, looking forward for the next uh, title that's gonna drop that I might interested in. All right, that's it. Hmm. So dailies are done. Uh, origin also is done. So let's go to daily mission first before we do the bounty. I'm not gonna move to normal until I can get to get her down to 50%. Then I will move her to normal. Right now I uh, I can do 20%-ish. Sure, reward might not be really good, but 
at least I can beat it. Beat it solo. And usually, if you can beat it solo, you get a lot more rewards. Usually, I don't know how true that is in this game. Ooh, that's an easy one. Heck yeah. Ooh. That's a lot more HP. Heck yeah, let me do that. Let me help ya. Dango Mag is just like the most chaddest <laughs> thing in this game. Everyone is like become the this giant mech, you know what I mean? Like with this cool design. While Dango is like, screw mech, I'm running. <laughs> let me let me throw some hands on your mech. How about that? <laughs> you wanna fight? Bad. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, that's an easy. Uh, well, that's a really small HP. Can I not fill in? Can I not fill in doing it though? Because it doesn't. It, it's not even ten percent. Let's get real. So the reward is not really that worth it. But for the most part, they just normal, normal hard to like. Uh, just a little bit more, I can get the chip blueprint. What does this do? Large scale request Delta instance challenge mode. Kega instance. Hmm. That's hell. Dang, two people get it down to this some this low. Almost 50%. Those guys are really strong then. Not me! Let's do other things first. Uh, can I do this? Because there won't there won't be uh, let's give it a try, I guess. We won't know until we try. Oh never mind, Snow is here. So yeah, I got I got my full team ready. If that's the case. Yeah. So it's all good. We should be able to do this. I might swap out Ill Heath later on to uh, either Taisha or Fireet or Aya or Brittany, depends on the situation. So yeah, we can do this just fine. Because we have this so much damage. We have so many damage. So let's just keep doing this setup for now. Because we already took some damage though, not gonna lie. Goes down quite a bit. Or Solfei and uh, even Snowy goes down to, to uh, 90%. Now we take. Now we think. Clean them up. Perfect. That's really <laughs> that's a really perfect amount of slashing with the enemy.
Okay, we can still keep going, keep pushing with this. We should still be fine. If needed, I could swap Ilhis to Brittany to get some some of that good life steal that we uh, we might need. Bruh, you're wasting it. <laughs> There's no way you're wasting it. Sick. Wipe, 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 wipe. Easy. One more tick. Come on, Sakura. Buff. No. There it is. Wipe, 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 wipe. You don't need to use it, though. There's no way. <laughs> You're wasting your skill. Mm, I think it's about time to switch you out with Brittany for now. Maybe I should switch uh, Solfe also soon, but I'm, I'm gonna still keep using her. If she still can buff up with buff us with uh, the good that that good shield, you know what I mean. Come on, Brittany. What the heck is our life steal? The reason I put you in is because of your life steal. There it is. Get some heal, get some heal. Nice. Take shield. Get all the heals. Get all the heals. Restore your HP. Good amount. Good amount. Dead. Nice heal, nice heal. Last one. Uh, 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 should I swap Solvain with... Answer is probably yes. Let's just go with it. My uh, scuffed Taisha. <laughs> she looks weird with that. I still need two two more parts, but well, it'll happen soon. Clean them up, clean them up, girls, and also heals up, heal up, heal up, life steal as much as you can. This might hurt. Oh god, 1k per hit. Jesus. Okay. One bar is gone. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rin. Okay, we got it. Thank god. <laughs> Whew, that's a lot of damage. Nice. So, last one is 6, huh? Okay, let's go back to here. Let's see if any improvement have has been made. Nope. I cannot do the stage two because even stage one is kind of. A little bit challenging. On auto, that is. If I manually, then probably it's a, a bit easier. Sick. 
see even even Rin's active skill is not not one shotting the enemy. Il Heath. Look at that. Like, we deal like almost 10k per hit, and it's like it goes down slowly. Which Ilhith is stronger? The Battle of Ilhith. Shield? Very nice. That still deals a big chunk. Even with the shield. That's crazy. Okay, I still need to do two more. All right, let's just do this. Let's manual it. Hopefully we can push to 25. Maybe I should br bring Taisha instead of uh, Ilheath. Ow. Why do you have to go here? Go somewhere else. Hit it. Get the shield down. Oh, jeez. Come on. Probably not gonna be twenty. Yep. Ooh, now that's now that is my level right there. That is my level right there. Bring it on. Bring give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. Now we can just auto this. Don't need to do anything. done and then after that we still have events this I mean you don't I don't really need to do this but it's free stuff you can't say no to free stuff you know what I mean it's not gonna take that long anyway just slap the enemy in the face. Brat. Or you know what? Screw it. Don't dodge. Just punch them. More DPS. Stay on AOE. Big damage. More DPS. Just 
make things a lot faster because dodging AOE and then like you know stepping out from the red carpets or telegraph it's a loss of DPS because you just stand there doing nothing you know what I mean just stay in the AOE who cares get hit who cares just DPS the boss big damage oh my stomach <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to get a bigger aquarium for my fish. Because my fish is pretty big. Not to mention now I add the uh, the medicinal leaf. So it feel it, it looks like <laughs> he doesn't have a a lot of room to swim around. And also we're farming a little bit more of these too and see if we can get like a decent substat. And also we got some like a, a little bit of gold and also uh, some experience chip or disc. I wish this game was like uh, what King's Raid do. You can skip the like uh, the zoom in animation and it pop in. So like the moment it, you activate your active skill, it's just like it happens like right away. The animation is there, so like boom, 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 boom. Instead of like zoom in, everything stop. I think that's what I really like about King's Raid because the the fight is just like keeps on going. No like. Zoom. I mean there is, but you can turn it off. That's the thing. So no zoom in, no stopping. So like it happens and it's just like boom, 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 boom. Just great. Plus, to be honest, having more of IS mech is also good because we we can use it for uh, 
mag mo parts modify thingy. Basically, upgrading our mag parts into SSR. Because using higher rarity like gives more EXP regardless of that level, I think. That's what I found. Like using green is like doesn't really give you a lot of EXP, but then with an even lower level SSR like gives you big amount of EXP. So we can collect them collect this as many as much as we can while it's here and you still have the option to do so so might as well just stack up as many of them as you can also trying to find like a better substat for Aya it's also not a bad idea either Wait, what? My fan. This is what I turn on. I think the charger, the charger is gonna, the cable, kind of weird. Oh well, so it's still working, kind of. <laughs> Maybe we should just find a, like, get a new cable for the charger. Yep, it's dead again.
And I'm buying something from a online shop and it's like taking forever to get here like bruh. This is the last one, and after this, gonna do the story twice or once, actually. But you know, you can just use all your entry in one go. And the reason why I leave the bounty for the last is that by doing all of these, I got the uh, what do you call it? Rank EXP stuff. So who knows, I'm hit 56 first. And also Blue Archive, I forgot to mention that before when I talk about like the game that I'm looking forward to. Completely forget about that one. That game exists and soon the pre-registration is going to be up in about two days. Ah, oh, can't wait. Can't wait. But I'm still... Think that the open beta is going to be around end of this year still. The fastest. Big damage.
Wait, did I use all two entry? Uh oh. <laughs> oh well, it was whatever. I can just do it again anyway. Thankfully today is uh, my break from workout, so... But my god, <laughs> my entire body... My entire body, uh, my stomach even worse. <laughs> my abs is... Ugh. Like trying to get up from the bed also is like... <laughs> you know, it's like... Oh god. them up That's two? Okay, I did then. Thank god. I, I'm tempted to just go back out <laughs> and, and retry it, but hey, it pays off. Finally. Not really finally, to be honest, but like more like... Yeah. Whatever, dude. Uh, I can't upgrade Evelyn's to level 60 or rank 60, which is perfect. I think I have enough, right? Yeah, I have enough. Let's do that then. Get one. Very nice. Weapon down. And then next is the cockpit. Because I need 20 blueprint. Uh, mech crit, accuracy, dang, it's uh, pretty low crit. Reduce enemy crit chance. Eeeh. I forgot to check the weapon. Frame. Health. <laughs> Evasion. Eh. Health. Eh. Last one. Big stats. Big stats. Come on. Big stats. Heck yeah. Meh stats. Big stats. Okay. Okay. 
So let's go to hangar. Where's Evelyn? She's always on expedition. <laughs> I always press auto on the expedition. So that's what happened. Ah. Uh, Oh, well, well, at least I have it now, so... Either way, if other people want to use it, then go for it. No, don't use that. That's disgusting. No. That is no. Use that instead. Stay with it. Lots of crates. <clears throat> oh, oh man, I don't really need that. I already have that rank sixty though. I want the cockpit or the frame. That would be perfect for Eel Heath. Give me that. And also give me that. Oof. Thousand more. Thousand crystal. Then I can do another ten. whatever Three hours. This probably blue. Yep. Eh. So that's all. Now we can jump to Bounty. Oh wait, there is still one more thing. This thing. I'm not sure if I can do Hero, but I'm pretty sure I can do this. And the reason why is the daily coins that you got go there and then go there and we should be fine
think this is like the longest one. Because the summer festival is going to be quick. Just sweep, 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 done. <laughs> Well, 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 the glitch. <laughs> right after I said it before. Oh, and oh, okay, I see now. I see now. Because multiple times it happened. I can't control it. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I need to exit this. Otherwise, it's gonna stay like this forever. So, okay, so that's what happened. So, it happened like multiple times. I'm not gonna lie. When I like play it by myself, like just like live it auto like this and just I'm while I'm watching YouTube and stuff. Like doesn't really pay attention to it and then I go back to the game and saw that happen. Like it, like the, the game just locked itself like that. So I was like, what? What? What happened? So that's what happened. <laughs> the cutscene doesn't play and it kind of locked in place. I see. I see what happened. It's funny how that works, to be honest. Okay. We're back. Which is good. Why is it so laggy now? What happened here? I didn't I didn't even change any settings at all. Okay, 
Got destroyed. Ivy no Tanden no Ketka des. Take you to Chicago. Got the coins. 
No good with the other one. I haven't done all of them. So you just go all the way here. Go here. Oh god. Oh jeez. My abs. <laughs> standing straight is like... Ugh. Not standing straight, sitting straight. There's no more enemy. <laughs> Stop overkilling them.
easy. After this, gonna go uh, working on the other <sighs> stages because I haven't really got every single one of these stages to 60 because I need to collect those daily coins, you know what I mean? And also getting some new parts is always nice anyway. Who knows, I might be able to use them in the future, you know? <laughs> 